I can say that all business cases we have formulated during the planning phase have been successfully implemented and are used now every day. You can see some of them listed here and if you are interested you can read the details at your leisure. The reception by our end users have been very positive. At the end of the day having more transparency gives all employees involved a better feeling for what they are doing. When we look at the results we have obtained after using Procore in production for six months, there are a couple of findings which are really worth mentioning. For example, during the first four months, we could take already 17 measures proactively, which were triggered based on the PPM analysis performed by business operations. We found 10 errors in the backend, which we had completely overlooked before. We were able to correct one business process and we could initiate six campaigns to process and complete open orders. Over here you can see the impact of improved reporting and process control as developed over time. On average we brought the order cycle time down from 5.3 days to 1 day, which is excellent. Needless to say that we expect customer satisfaction to improve as a consequence. We also use our process control setup to monitor the stability and performance of our IT systems interactions. As you can see here, even throughout interface adaptations, we never really have any service interruptions at the PPM level, which speaks for the quality and architectural flexibility of what we have built. Now that we have a powerful reporting and controlling infrastructure in place, some of the results we obtained are of course as expected. Any form of analysis can be performed in much less time. We can do more and broader type of analysis and we don't have to involve IT at all to do these. All these new insights provide us with many new ideas about how we might want to optimize our processes and some of these improvements are being implemented as we speak. Last but not least, the high levels of transparency have also a very positive effect on our employees because they have now much more control over what they are doing. Based on these results we have obtained so far, we can confidently say that we will get a ROI on the Procore initiative 9 to 12 months since go live. Okay, that's it from my side. I hope this has given you some useful insights and perhaps while listening to this presentation, you may have had questions that I didn't answer. Please feel free to get in touch with me directly. I would be more than happy to discuss them with you. You can find the necessary contact information on this slide. Chris, back to you. Thanks a lot, Marcus, especially for sharing some live impressions about your setup with us and for being available in case there are any questions. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that on the E2E homepage, you will also find a written case study about the Swisscom project, which is available for free download. For any other questions, please feel free to address those directly to my attention using the email chenn at e2ebridge.com. Thank you for listening and goodbye.